So, quickly wanted to talk about how not to get scammed when you're buying used equipment. So, if you're like me, you buy a lot of production gear and I end up buying a lot of it used to save money. But sadly, there's a lot of scams out there. So, the two main places to buy um, production equipment are Facebook and eBay. Those are kind of my go-to. eBay has gotten a little bit more expensive. Facebook is like the new eBay and Craigslist combined. And there's lots of groups to buy gear on Facebook. But, there's a lot of scammers out there. So, here's some of the tips to avoid um, getting scammed for gear on Facebook. So. The number one thing, if you see a post and the comments are turned off, most likely that's a scam. They know that what they're posting is too cheap or there's something wrong with it. And so they want to avoid people commenting that it's a scam. So most likely if comments are off, it's a scam. Two, low res images. Um, if the images are super low res, like if you zoom in and it get all, gets all pixelated and whatever, Usually it means that they've copied it or screenshotted it from another post to post it on their own. So that's a dead giveaway. Um, usually if the price is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. So, you know, there was for a while a uh, MA command wing going around on Facebook for three grand with a case and everything. And clearly that's pretty cheap for a command wing. Um, normally they're like five or six grand for a kit. So. Out. and the comments were off and and here's the other one you'll see it reposted the same list and reposted by different people that's usually a dead giveaway as well um, and then one of the other ones is you click on their profile I always look like even if I message someone hey I'm interested in this I'll look at their profile and usually if it's a scam, it's someone, it's sadly an older person and their Facebook account got hacked or um, it's someone that has nothing to do with production. They don't post anything about uh, production on their profile. Usually that's um, a scam as well. So um, those are just things to watch out for. On eBay, things to watch out for are accounts that are brand new that have never sold anything, prices that are too cheap, um, overseas, that's a big deal, it's watching out for um, stuff overseas. And then, again, if the price is too good to be true, even um, eBay accounts can get hacked and I've purchased things assuming it was a scam, but like if I got lucky, sweet. Um, and luckily with eBay and PayPal, you get your money back, it just takes a little bit. Um, but it was overseas, it was like 2,500 bucks for a Canon R5 um, from overseas. Um, the account had sold some stuff, but then I got a notification later from eBay that um, that account was hacked and so someone was posting on it. So watch out, you know, too good to be true, buy it now prices. Now if you're bidding on something and you get it cheaper, that's a whole other story because that's the point of eBay is to bid and get things cheaper. But if it's a buy it now price that's too cheap, it's probably um, a scam. And then good signs to look out for is like if they post on their Facebook that they, you know, work in production and they work for a church, um, common uh, mutual friends, that's a big deal if they're in a lot of groups that you're in. Um, if you go to their Venmo, like if you go to pay them on Venmo, you can see like their recent history and if people are paying for um, other production gear. You know, those are all good signs to look out for that it's probably um, a good seller. I still like to use um, PayPal, the um, the goods and service, and then like the Venmo um, protection. And usually what I do because I want to protect myself is, you know, they're like, oh, I lose money when I do that is I'll offer to pay the difference, um, which usually is, you know, depending on the item, it could be a few dollars to maybe a hundred dollars. but. Um, it protects both of us if something goes wrong. And so usually I offer to pay the extra for that protection, just so that way, if anything goes wrong, we're all covered. Um, and then I think one of the other things is if you can meet up in person, like that's even better. Um, I recently bought a lens off of Facebook Marketplace. 
and it was in Orange County near where one of my friends is living and instead of me uh, messaging, having him ship it, that kind of thing, I had one of my friends go check out the lens, make sure it was good, and then he um, gave me the thumbs up, then I Venmoed the guy myself, and then my friend took the lens and got it to me. So just ways to clear up um, any possible chance of scam. And probably lastly, one of the things that has gotten big recently is people sell their gear right on their Instagram, they just post a story. And I've sold gear that way and I've bought gear that way. And that makes me more comfortable because it's a page that I follow, it's someone I know that's in the production industry, they're selling something that I would use. And you know, that transaction to me feels safer because even if I don't know the guy personally, we've talked on Instagram before, whatever, um, there's rapport there. So um, yeah, those are kind of my tips. I was literally trying to buy a Leica Q last night and it was definitely a scam. I messaged them, checked out their profile as an older person. The messages coming back were, you know, just not, they, they didn't make any sense. So that sparked me to make this quick video. I hope this helps because um, sadly it's a big deal right now, but hope this helps and have a good day. It's probably the first time me making a video this um, early in the morning, but it's time to get to work. And if you're curious and if you've seen the Summer Night Worship Nights um, production vlog, some of those live shows are about to drop. I'm editing them right now, so make sure you stay tuned to see uh, those drop.